Hey everybody, this is Dustin Bradley. Today I'm in Mesa, Arizona. I'm sitting here at this three bedroom, two bath, 2,043 square foot, completely remodeled, full remodeled down to the studs. And what that means is they did a new roof, new AC, new windows, new kitchen, new landscaping, new flooring, new electrical, new everything. This property is listed at $675,000. The taxes are $1,440. The cross streets are gonna be University and Christman, and it's just over an acre. So it's 44,119 square feet. This place is very, very well done. I wanted to start on the inside today to kind of highlight the front and back. I think the most, the biggest negative on this property is it sits on a busier road. So right as you walk in the front door, you're just greeted by the living room over here, and then it opens up to the beautiful kitchen and dining area. So that's kind of flow through it. So this is probably where you'd want to put your, your dining room table. You do have spot to put bar stools on the island and bar stools over here. So you're gonna have plenty of seating, quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances, butcher block on the island. I love how they did the tile backsplash all the way up to the ceiling behind the stove. I think that looks great. I love the big windows, lets in tons of light. Over here we have the laundry room. Utility sink. And then we have a storage room over here. So this is nice too, just kind of a bonus storage area. You could use it as a pantry. I love how the brick looks. I like how they did recessed lighting throughout. It's a huge entryway. One little pointer I'm gonna point out uh, that, I, that I like and I can tell when they did a quality remodel is, if you look at the back of this architectural feature, so this is wood and then this is the wall. Sometimes they do plywood, sometimes they just level it with sheetrock. In this case, they leveled it with sheetrock and I think that looks great. When they don't put as much time into it, what they usually do is they leave the texture. So they would have left the texture like this, which is what you do not want to do in my opinion. The biggest negative, one of the biggest negatives on this property is the front road. And then this living room is not huge. So the more I look at it, I think you'd put your couch on this wall here since it's longer. And then maybe your TV here. But you could flip that if you wanted to be able to watch TV from the kitchen. But your couch might overhang that a little bit, which wouldn't be a huge deal. You got French doors that lead to the backyard. This could be used as an office or as a bedroom, set up as a bedroom since it does have a closet. So bedroom one, bedroom two, And then bedroom number three, which is the master. I like how the master faces the backyard. You know, turf back there. Barn door, sliding door to make the bathroom a little more private. Floor to ceiling tile. I like this new trend where the floor is just level. That's one of the drains right there. A walk-in closet. I do wish the uh, bathroom uh, vanity was a little bigger. I think people would appreciate that. There's no drawers, so you're gonna have to use this closet for some of that. I like that they put uh, fans throughout. 
So here's the bathroom for this bedroom, the other bedrooms to share, and then the guest. I do like tile like this. I think it looks great. They kept the original bathtub, painted it, and then they did uh, floor to ceiling tile all the way over like the kitchen. I think that looks great. They kept the original doors and painted them black. And then the, I would say one of the best features is the backyard. You have some peekaboo mountain views over there. And then they chose to just fence a small part of the property so it'd be easier to maintain. And then there's an access point there to the rest of the lot. And then over there. So like I said, this is just over an acre. So tons of options here. There is no HOA. So all this space. And then another huge section back here. So this is a big lot. And there's just mountains all around. This is very near Usury Park. You probably heard me say before, my wife and I, we go hiking in Usury Park all the time. It's beautiful. There's a section up there at the top of one of the hikes that there's a, uh, a wind tunnel or wind caves that have a bunch of beehives. You can hear the buzzes, the bee, the bees buzzing. So now I'm just going to walk to the front. The house itself has eight foot ceilings, but they really work. I usually like vaulted, but it does work in this property. That's a side street, and then this is a busier street right here. This is Chrisman, and this is the front of your property. So tons and tons and tons of parking. You can see, I love how they did that cream or white paint with the uh, black shingles. It looks super sharp. A lot of people would probably wish there was a shop or a garage, but you know, beautiful home. Really impressed, impressed with the way they remodeled it. So once again, this is uh, Dustin Briley, the Briley brothers. If you have any questions, if you want to see any properties, if you want any properties videoed, look in the description. All our contact information is going to be down there and we would love to help you find your next property. My brother and I do this full time. It's Sunday right now and I'm out shooting content for you guys and uh, we love what we do. Okay, I'll talk to you later.